here we go again. <laughs> Another thrift haul. I can't be stopped. I have so many things that I have not listed and I keep buying things and I can't stop. I have a problem. Anywho, welcome to my channel. <laughs> my name is Catherine. Um, on this channel, we talk about everything beauty and everything reseller related. So obviously today is going to be a thrift haul of reseller secondhand clothes things I plan on reselling on different platforms like Poshmark, eBay, Depop, Mercari, Tradesy, Facebook Marketplace. I think that's all. Mercari, did I say Mercari? I think I said Mercari. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Again, it's another big haul. I will share my other massive hauls on, sorry, I'm out of breath. I just logged, I just like walked all these things in here. Um, <clears throat> if you hear anything in the background, most likely it is we are getting solar installed in our house today, so they are drilling it in the roof. And so we're just gonna deal with it. Anywho, let's get started. All right, so these items come from a variety of stores. Uh, the first one is from actually the Humane Society Thrift Store of Southern Arizona. Um, I work very close to it, so on my lunch break, sometimes I'll hop over there and see what kind of goodies that they have to offer. Of course, the day I went in, it was 50% off day for, um, I think, because they had been open for like 78 years, like the Humane Society in itself, not the thrift store. Um, so they were having like 78 cent clothes um, and then 50% off boutique stuff, which I got a lot of the boutique stuff. So, but I'll let you know what each thing was. So let's just get started. <clears throat> this first little number is... BCBG Max Azaria. Again, something that does really well for me on Thrive Up. And it's this fun little black and gold little number with these like flowy sleeves. So I have been toying with the idea of going back onto Flip, um, which if you're not familiar with Flip, it's F-L-Y-P. Um, it's basically connecting um, sellers and buyers together. So basically what I could do is I could send in, um, a lot of stuff to somebody who would list it for me. And then basically we would split the profits. Um, I'm kind of thinking that idea just because of all of the stuff that I have to list. I just don't have time to do it with my full-time job, um, with other things that I do as well. So I, I have tried it before. I had an okay experience like I had good experience I had a bad experience which is kind of evens out to an okay experience um, and I do have to say that your cost of goods have to be relatively low if you're gonna make any sort of money um, so with some of these items I did I did pay up for more of them um, some others were relatively inexpensive so they might fare well through flip so basically that was my long-winded way of Maybe I'm going to restart flip again. Let me know. Your, have you tried it before? Have I know they also have like a free automated um, cross-listing service that I haven't used because I use Vendu. But um, if you've tried that, if you've tried flip as a buyer or a seller, please let me know down below what your experiences were. Um, yeah. So anyways, this could be an item that I send in for flip or thread up. Um, let's see. I think this was the only 78 cent item that I found. Um, I was kind of a little bit in a rush, but this is the green tag Lauren by Ralph Lauren. This chambray top with this kind of ruffle button down detail. And we're gonna be going kind of quick today because I am in a little bit of a time crunch. Um, this next piece is a David Meister, which is a designer brand. Um, kind of this like very pretty drapey type of dress with this silver uh, little piece right there. Um, fun story, I actually found a David Meister gown at Buffalo Exchange one year um, that I wore as my prom dress, my senior prom dress. It was beautiful. And I think like the dress itself retailed for like $900 and I got it for like $40. Um, that was before I even started reselling stuff like that and so I, I knew back in my mind there was a power of reselling or a power of thrifting clothes because I never used to thrift clothes either so I, I I started then I just didn't hop into it until about eight years ago anyways tangent 
This is a Brooks Brothers silk little top. Again, this is something that I probably might send into thread up or um, use it for uh, flip, kind of this smocked detailing. This is a super pretty and super soft sweater made by Anthropology. This is a size small, very soft, like furry sweater. What is it made of? Now I'm very curious. <laughs> Let's see. Nylon, viscose, and polyester. Oh my gosh, it feels so soft. Waffle. Hey. <laughs> Waffle's behind you. You can't see him, but he is trying to pull stuff off the bed because he's nervous with all the, the drilling and stuff going on. Um, this other piece is another um, just by Anthropology piece. Kind of this like textured um, little tank size extra small. This is um, Simply. This is a Canadian brand. Kind of very like if you know anything about like Chico's Travelers pieces, it's kind of the same concept. Waffle. Stop. It's getting into everything. Um, it's kind of the same concept. Very like loose fitting clothing that's not supposed to wrinkle. Um, I have sold a pair of pants, which actually I think ironically I got from the Humane Society as well. Um, and they do relatively well. So this is a size 12. This is a, I want to say maybe an older tag. Yes, yeah, so older tag joie. Um, but still a really pretty little silk piece. Striped silk piece. Raced her back. This is um tabitha which sometimes i believe is at anthropology sometimes not this one looks the rn number doesn't come back to anthropology but sometimes that doesn't really mean too much um but just a really pretty kind of like cropped uh striped cardigan with these little crochet not what would you call these embroidered flowers if anybody knows proper terming of that please let me know I think it was extra small as well this is sorry cat hair um this is just Zara Traflick um this really cute polka dot dress with little ruffle hems um I think it's a wrap dress kind of hard to kind of hard to show but then like ruffle sleeves Super cute, size small. This is Bowden. That's what the Bowden tag looks like. This is a US 10 long. Um, so with Bowden, so um, I, I don't know what the year range was, but sometimes if it just has one size, that's actually like the UK size of it um, until they started putting out two sizes. So. If it only has one size, I think it's the UK, so make sure you are like converting that to US size if you're selling in the US. Um, but this is 10 long, really pretty pencil skirt. Bowden does relatively well for me, so I try to pick up pieces that are in good condition. This is just kind of a simple athleta piece. Um, little tank, but what was really fun is it has this like drawstring orange accent in the back. So that's why I picked it up. Size medium. This is a um, Mara Hoffman little bikini, high waisted bikini with new with tags. So that's always fun to find something new with tags. The size large. Definitely paid up for that one. So that wouldn't that wouldn't go into flip. That would be something I sell myself. Um, picked this piece up because A, it was new with tags, but B, it's also kind of that rockabilly cute, um, style with like the, the sunglasses and kind of that, uh, fit and flare look, halter style. Um, let's see. The Betty Davis eye dress, uh, retailed for $88. 
so fun. Let's see, and then I got this really pretty uh, maxi dress, like ombre maxi dress from Madewell. This is size six. And if you didn't know, um, I have shared this in some of my other videos, but in case you haven't watched them, I will definitely link them up below, below as I'm pointing above. I'll link them up above. Um, with Madewell, if you look at their tags, the interior tags, a lot of the times it will give you the style number and then the year it was made. So this is summer 20, so about two years old. All right, one bag down, many more bags to go. All right, I picked this up at a more local thrift store, um, you know, not a Goodwill basically. So this is Girls from Savoy, which also can be linked to anthropology sometimes. This is a size 10, really pretty like graphic sundress. to keep things organized as best as possible so I know where I got them and I know how much I spent on them um this is a free people dress which I think I've sold before or at least I've I've seen this dress before um it has a Marshalls tag so I know I've seen it at Marshalls before but it's this free people maxi dress I think I've sold it before I don't know has a Marshalls tag also has the free people tag that retails for $128 what I'll do is I'll just snip off the Marshalls tag, keep the free people tag, um, so it is still new with tags. All right, then we picked up some Levi's. 724 high rise street size 29 kind of that like distressed gray um and i picked them up because they did have distressing and then they did have like a, a raw hem with a little like kick kick um pleat right here otherwise if they didn't have those details i don't think i would have picked them up um just because they would be more of a plain levi's and so i think some of the more detailed levi's do a little bit better um, than others. So that is why I picked it up and I also think it was half off. So you gotta love that. These, I did comps for it and they were a little all over the place, but sometimes you just pick stuff up because you, you just feel attracted to it. Like it'd be fun to list. It's fun to have in your closet. And these are Hudson's, Hudson jeans. And they just have this like fun, uh, like velvet, print fun velvet stripes down them um the style of these they are a size 30 are the nico mid-rise ankle s skin um so again you can find a lot of the information in the content tags um so i just thought these were really fun you know with fall coming up these could be like a great um like Halloween costume too. So something that you could wear, uh, you know, not every day. I don't think this would be an everyday jean, but you could wear these um, more than once. You could wear them Halloween. They would be appropriate for that, like a Beetlejuice costume or something. Um, so that's what I always try to do like for Halloween costumes. So I'm not being wasteful of just wearing it once. It's trying to pick something that I can like pick up pieces if I don't already have them. Um, and wear them multiple times in just different ways. <clears throat> okay, so these are also from that um, local thrift store. It's called Great Things. Um, and it the things that you purchase there actually go to um, Child and Family Resources, which is a service here in Tucson. Um, so which is why I like to, you know, I'm within the behavioral health field and mental health field. So I like to try to encourage um, you know, donations to places that will also benefit people's mental health. Um, so these are just Saks Fifth Avenue, the wrong way. Um, but Saks Fifth Avenue also has some really great quality clothing. So I picked them up. Um, it's kind of fun, like mule heel, kitten heel, mule. Really cute. I thought these would be really cool for fall. 
coming up. They are a size seven and a half. These are the Allegra, Allegra, uh, yeah, <laughs> in blush. So I saw these and I immediately knew what they were. They are fry boots. You can tell by that little symbol right there. Um, nice little kind of moto slip on fry boot. Um, these are size seven and a half. I wonder if they're from the same person. Um, you can, there's like the style number in there that you can plug in. I do, I have a pair of fry boots. You can see that too. I own a pair of fry boots that I've purchased from the fry, fry website. Um, and you do have to be careful, I've noticed, because I've, I've picked up and, and sold a lot of like thrifted boots in various sizes, and a lot of them do not have zippers on them. Like you have to stick your foot, even if they're the tall boots. And sometimes you're gonna wanna size up because I have a pretty narrow foot, but sometimes I can't get like past the, that point, you know, this point right here when trying to slip them on. Um, so just being mindful of that, they will stretch out, but they can be a little bit difficult to put on initially. It's always a good day when you find some Friday. Great. Here's some good old, just regular Goodwill. Um, so these are a pair of men's shoes. I don't know what this style is called of men's shoe, but they're in excellent, excellent condition. Um, the only wear that you can see is on the bottom. And these are hand welt. Um, by Anthony Veer. These are a size 10 and a half. It says original Goodyear welted. Um, so when I looked these up, comps are a little bit all over the place, but they still were like selling really decently. Um, I don't pick up a lot of menswear. A lot of the times when I do pick up menswear, it's actually in the women's wear stuff. So this was in mixed in with women's shoes. Um, so, you know, I was like, oh, that looks really nice. Picked it up, checked comps. They seemed pretty good. So I was like, I'll put them in my, I'll put them in my cart. Why not? Oh, I forgot about these. How could I forget? Again, this was a very quick trip into Goodwill after lunch. We had a very fulfilling lunch of carbs and Bloody Marys. And so it was kind of a Goodwill comatose um, digestion run, if you will. And so it was very quick, but look at what I found. Can you read that? Cezanne. 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 I don't know how to say it. I think it's Cezanne. <sighs> These are beautiful. They're kind of this like very retro T-strap heel, the ankle strap, and the, the like embossed uh, not even embossed. That's like um, woven leather. You like that? It's been a long day. Woven leather. Um, they are a size 36, so they're a little bit smaller, but that is okay. So that's what they look like. This might be something that I send to the real real. I'm I'm not too sure. Um, I might sell it myself. I might send it to the real real. I never really know what I'm going to be doing. Um, but yeah, this is a score. These are, these retail for like 700 plus dollars, something ridiculous like that. So I was very lucky to find it in such amazing condition as well. This is a, let's see, a Maeve top. So anthropology, size large, kind of this almost like Swiss dot floral top with these, you know, sheer sleeves and crochet, um, little inner weaves in them. Okay. This was also from that same Goodwill trip. Um, this is a Patricia Nash bag, kind of this like almost patina copper turquoise looking bag, shoulder bag. It needs to be reshaped just a little bit. Um, but this is, that's my receipt. stuff so that is what the brand tag looks like um i briefly looked up comps not necessarily for this style bag but just for patricia nash because i knew i'd heard her heard of the brand before but i've never found anything 
this comped anywhere from like 75 bucks to 125 bucks somewhere around there so that was an amazing steal all right uh this was a different goodwill trip but these are keens these are kind of one of those i don't do you call these like uh, is it like a hummingbird style or something like that? Like kind of a sling back. These are like canvas, but like stretchy canvas um, with the little platforms. I don't know. I might keep these myself. What size are they? Nine and a half. I might keep these myself. Clean them up a little bit. They do have some like wear on the bottom, but everything else seems to be in really great condition. Um, then I found these Doc Martens. They are canvas. Um, they do have some discolorations. I'd want to clean these up as well as I need to find a matching, um, what is that called? <laughs> shoestrings. Um, so the other pair does come with some shoestrings, but, um, this one doesn't. So I'd want to get a matching pair. So if anybody has any comments or suggestions to kind of get this like discoloration out of the canvas, I would really appreciate it. Um, Maybe like OxyClean or something like that. I don't know. Um, so if anybody has any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, but as you can see, they are Doc Martens. The little boing thing. Size US 9 for uh, women. These are the Mele Mali. These I got, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't check comps, but they were just so beautiful and I knew that. And they, I did pay up a little bit for them. I always try to go on days where I get um, my first responder discount, which is 20% off on um, Sundays and Mondays for my full-time job. I am a mental health therapist, so I am considered a first responder and I can get 20% off those days. So I try to keep it on those days, but these, that's cat hair. These beauties, how perfect are these gonna be during fall? Oh, so plaid calf hair, like stacked heel, the kind of the lace up uh, buttons, also zip. And these are Antonio Milani, which they have been like stepping up their game. I think that's even a new newer um, brand tag but they have been stepping up their game with like their uh, their shoes. That was the people on the roof. Um, they've been stepping up their game, so I had to pick these up. They are in a size nine. I'm between a nine and a nine and a half, so I don't know if these will fit, but I will, if they don't, I will definitely be reselling them. Oh, this is, I'm, I'm not even gonna get it out. This is a hummingbird feeder that my husband got. So I'll let him open it up. And then the last bag of pretty much boots was another Goodwill. I'm trying to get them into a place that they're not gonna fall off. No, no, <laughs> we'll see. They're just gonna fall okay so the first pair of boots that i found were these really nice men's sorel boots um these are the ice pack sorels insides are super nice this is a size nine maybe these are women's too i don't know size nine um again paid out for these but with my discount it makes makes it worth it um so got these so these were marked up but these are also Sorrells and these were not marked up. These were about half the cost of the other ones. Um, look how pretty that lace up. Oh gosh, I love Sorrells. I love Sorrells. Um, these are a size uh, women's eight. And I don't know exactly, it doesn't have a name of the style on them, but these are so, so pretty. So I've got those. these really really unique kind of looking ariat boots um so that is the ariat tag 
I want to say because I know they're different style boots or cons like have different names of well, duh. So like um, this might, I don't know if this is considered a roper boot or a, a Laredo boot. Um, I'm going to have to do some, some digging, but it does look a little bit more like distinguished and like kind of like a dress boot opposed to the ones with the lace up, which are more, I consider more like work boots. Um, and it has this nice zipper here and it has this nice like mesh paneling to, you know, comfort to put on and off. And this is a size, oh, I'm going to sneeze. This is a size 10. And then there is um, like the style number right in here. So I'll look that style number up and see what they are. They do have some like scuffs on them, but you know, you could take some like Wonder Balm, Balsam Balm, whatever, um, and get them out or at least make them look nice and shiny again. Um, so that's the other one of that. This, uh, the other one fell on the floor, so I'll just show you this one. This is uh, a Steve Madden. Um, Steve Madden little boot, lace up boot. I thought this would be perfect for fall. A lot of these boots, I like all I got was boots, um, so they're all gonna be really nice for fall. Steve Madden, I do really well with their boots. Um, this is the Eureka style in an eight and a half. It's right there. And then the last pair of boots are Uggs. So you can see there. Again, I think these were half off. They were not marked up ridiculous. Like this particular Goodwill that I go to, they always mark up their shoes like ridiculous um, amounts compared to like the other Goodwills, which I don't understand um, because they're not even in like a nicer location. Um, so I don't know, but these were not super marked up. They are a size seven and a half. You can see they got some shearling in there. Um, nice slip on boot again with kind of that mesh paneling to make things easy in and out. So yeah, that was my other haul. Um, again, I need, please send all of your motivation tips, tricks to get listing below. Like I said, I think I'm gonna send some of this stuff and some of my other backlog stuff into flip just to kind of clear out some room, get some stuff moving out of here because it's definitely becoming more like a storage unit every day of like things on top of each other and not getting listed. I've kind of lose my flow of stuff. Um, I do know that the more consistent I am, and this is not just like me saying this, this is me um, like actually backing it up with my own proof is that the more consistent I am, the more that like with listing and relisting, uh, the more sales that I have. And so, but sometimes you just get a little bit burnt out. And, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in that burnt out stage of listing, but apparently not with, with buying. So I need to find a solution. I know people have tried whatnot. Um, I've toyed around with that idea. Let me know if you've had any experiences with whatnot. Um, before, um, I don't know, it just seems like a lot of work. That's really all I can think to say about it. It just seems like a lot of work to me. Um, I don't know if like the profits are really there. Um, I've thought about doing, uh, like selling on like Facebook groups, uh, for like reselling or like, um, reseller inventory and stuff like that. Again, I know that's a lot of work and you don't really make your money back either. Um, or you make very little profit. So we'll see. Just send all your good motivation vibes my way, please. Um, or, you know, commiserate with me too if you're having low motivation like myself. Um, anyways, that's all I have for the haul today. Um, my makeup today, I can't really see very well in this light, um, but it is all included in my July Shop My Stash, which I can link up above. I was very extra with the eyeshadow today. I used all three palettes that I have um, to get this kind of like orangey, peachy, browny look. Um, I'll have everything that I'm wearing down below in the description, um, as well as all of my codes and referrals and stuff like that, um, which I always do appreciate. I do have affiliated links, so that means I earn a small commission if you do shop through them. You don't have to, but it really is appreciated and it's free for you and it helps me out. Um, so yeah, with that, if you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing to this channel. 
please like this video, comment any sort of things down below. I'd love to chat with you. And with that, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.